Hey boys and girls, welcome to Mrs. Walker's sixth grade virtual science class. And the standard that we're gonna focus on today is from sixth grade life science. It states, conduct investigations using a microscope or multimedia source to compare the characteristics of protist and the methods they use to obtain energy and move through their environments. All right, so to start, we're going to begin by defining what is a protist. And a protist is any eukaryotic organism that is not an animal, plant, or a fungus. Most are single-celled organisms. They have the unique ability to both make their own food as well as feed on living or once living things. Protists are one of the five kingdoms of living things. Um, often you have to use a microscope to see them because they are single-celled. However, there are some that are um, a bit bigger that you are able to see, and we'll talk about those as we work our way through. So we're going to compare how a protist is like an animal for this first slide. So animal-like protists are commonly called protozoa. Most protozoa consist of a single cell. They are animal-like because they are heterotrophs and are capable of moving. Now remember, a heterotroph means that they have to obtain their energy by eating something else. They um, do not make their own food. They have to self-feed by, um, in this case, off of living or once living organisms. Although, and then they're, they're capable of moving. They have special um, parts of their cellular structure that allow them to move. Although protozoa are not animals, they are thought to possibly be the ancestors of animals. So this is how protists are plant-like, and we're going to talk about algae. Plant-like protists are called algae. They are a large and diverse group. Some algae, like diatoms, are single-celled. Those are ones you're going to have to use a microscope to see. Others, such as seaweed, are multicellular, and you're able to see seaweed without a microscope. Why are algae considered plant-like? The main reason is that they contain chloroplasts and produce food through photosynthesis. However, they lack many other structures of true plants. For example, algae do not have roots, stems, or leaves. Some algae also differ from plants in being modal. They may move with pseudopods or flagella. Although not plants themselves, algae were probably the ancestors of plants. So here is how some protists are similar to plants and that they um, are they they are they create their own um, produce their own food through the process of photosynthesis, which is very different than the animal-like protist that they have to obtain their energy from another source. Okay, and here is how protists are similar to fungi. They are absorbed absorb, absorptive feeders on decaying organic matter. They resemble fungi and they reproduce with spores as fungi do. However, in other ways, they are quite different from fungi and more like other protists. For example, they have a cell wall made of cellulose, whereas fungi have cell walls made of chitin. Like other protists, they have complicated life cycles with both asexual and sexual reproduction. They are modal cells during some stages of their life cycle. Two major types of fungus-like protists are slime molds and water molds. So the main way that they are very similar to fungi here is their ability to reproduce using spores, but then also how they feed on decaying organic matter like fungi do. So to summarize this lesson where we've compared the different types of protists, and we have animal-like, we have plant-like, and we have fungus-like. So animal-like protists are called protozoa. Most consist of a single cell. Like animals, they are heterotrophic and capable of moving. Then we have plant-like protists that are called algae. They include single-cell diatoms and multicellular seaweed. Like plants, they contain chlorophyll and make food by photosynthesis. And then last, we have fungus-like protists, are molds. They are absorptive, absorptive feeders found on decaying organic matter. They resemble fungi and reproduce with spores as fungi do. All of these are um, would be better to see using microscopes if you have those capabilities to make some comparisons on their, their structure at the cellular level. Um, but that is it for this lesson on learning all about what a protist is. See you next time.